thank you for let's see yes i'm going live just so i can say thank you for stopping in and don't in case you are on silent Just because I like the lurk command, I think it's fun and cute. All right, so I did get a ring light. And as you can see, my face is a lot less orange than it's been in the past. However, I currently, the cord doesn't reach to put it behind my camera. So it is coming in from the side. Uh, so a little bit of my face will still be orange. So sorry about that. But well, uh, I, will, I will improve my lighting slowly over time. All right. Do, do, do. Okay, one thing. But you'll notice I even actually have the game up in advance for once. So I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, I think. All right. Now let's actually get to it. So don't mind my hair being chaotic. I just have this sweatshirt on because I had not turned on my space heater for most of the day. And it cold in here. Doo, doo, doo. At some point I might overheat and then well, we'll 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 figure that out when that if and how. Alright, and I also forgot I will usually put background music because it is Minecraft and Minecraft it goes well with background music, in my opinion. So let's see this. And this. And as per my usual, I'm gonna put on uh, songs by Malcolm Horn, Horn, aka Music Man 1017 on Twitch. Let's see if I can get the sound mixing on that a little better. Uh, I don't like the look of that blank screen, but we'll worry about that in just a moment. I'm gonna turn this music down a little because it's lovely music, but there are certain levels of loud I did not desire. Well, that's a good mix for me, so hopefully that will also work for people watching. Do do do. Okay, there we go, there we go. Ah, the wandering trader is still here. Ah, well. Alright. I don't remember if I was in the middle of anything other than obviously I should someday see about a roof. I'm trying to remember what I need in order to make... Wait, I bet I can figure this out. Oh, please. That's my map. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Doo -doo -doo. Mushroom! How do I make a mushroom block? A mushroom block can be made into mushrooms. But yes, if I have enough mushrooms, I can make mushroom block. For you see, this is my, for anyone who, who is maybe not seen in the past, this is one of the mods, the core mods of this uh, custom pack is, uh, which uh, it's a custom is and I, I made it myself, um, the origins mod and specifically a sub mod of that, uh, like an add-on mod that someone else made for uh, mushroom related origins. And then this one, I am a mushling. Which um, most notably makes me small. I am slightly taller than one block. Uh, and also makes me... I don't take fall damage because I am springy like a mushroom. And I can see in the dark. Those are the main things. Um, and also I have this cute mushroom skin. Although... I am a mushroom! Also, I'm gonna pull this one off, this and this off so you can see these. It's super adorable! So my normal skin has a penguin shirt, and I'm like, well, you know, penguins are my thing, so I'm not gonna remove the penguin. How do I make it a little more mushroomy? And I decided I would give it a little mushroom cap hat, and I love how that came out. The mushroom cap hat penguin is honestly one of my favorite pixel arts I've made. Um, at some point, I will have to turn it into something else. But 
I haven't figured out that out yet. All right, uh, right. I was actually checking the map kind of for a reason because exploration is potentially in the cards. Uh, we could go back to that dark oak forest and I could just collect a whole bunch more mushroom. Or I could wander around and try to find some other biomes. Um, oh, but if I was gonna wander around, I did just recently get cows. Uh, because there is a thing I want to make. Um, did I get more than one cow? I know I have went through a whole process. Okay, so there's two cows. But one of them is too small. So we'll come back to that later. But I need leather. So, I think I'm going to wait until I can do a little bit more cow husbandry, as it were. Eh. Eh. Alright, I'll go in. <laughs> Gotta get some eggs. Sorry, I am the same height as the animals, so that is a little disorient. disorienting. <laughs> Farming. Oh, right, I don't really need the harvest scythe for some of these, but eh, I mean, it's not like it's. It does kind of use up space, but. Eh, okay, I've definitely run out of inventory space, so let's go drop some stuff off. Alright, oh, I had made a enchanting thingy last time. I remember this because some of my things are shiny now. Maybe I could go mining until I have more cows to work with. Or, yeah. There was also, I remember, a third cow that I must not have finished acquiring, so I guess I could go look for that. Uh, let's see. Dump that there. And I, okay, I was mostly using that for overflow. So all the normal food things should still go in here. Oh, oops. Those are not food. Those are magic items. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got cherry pie now. Right. Because I made some. I suppose if I'm going to put on different background music, I should probably turn off the music in Minecraft, just because that's going to be weird and kind of clashy clashy. All right. And magic stuff. We were dump dropping off the magic stuff. That's what was going on there. Okay, so let's see. My basement is not gonna have a creeper in it. Oh, that's a nice painting. I'd forgotten I put that there. Uh, I have the start of an enchanting table. That looks pretty nice. Uh, what's have I? Oh, I still have this bag I haven't cleared out. Right, I got all those nuts from the dark forest, and I need to make nut trees. Okay. Pine uh, let's see, I have almonds, cashews, pecans. Is that it? Okay, that might be it. Uh, let's also, oh, and I have a rubber sapling that I should plant. Let's just grab all the seeds, because I don't know if any of those might have also been new. Other new things. Yeah, let's start with that. Oh, I need some space though. Um, let's start by. Oh, I keep doing that with the beans. Those are beans are not seeds. They just look awfully like them. Okay, so we definitely have those seeds, and now we resort that. And so my plan is, I dump all the seeds in, and any that appear here means I didn't have them already. Okay, so that's those three. And... Yeah, okay, so we'll grab those three back so I can plant them. And the actual- oh, and I, have, I must have had pears, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, looks like I already had all of those. Alright, and now we're gonna turn these nuts into, into tree nuts. Tree nut trees. Saplings, that is. So we have a pecan sapling. A cashew sapling and an almond sapling. And now I just need to find places to put them all. So 
Oops. Uh, yeah, okay, that would have been my important property, so whatever. Uh, who needs a knight? I will make a roof eventually, I swear, although it has at this point become a bit of an amusing ongoing thing that in this world my house just does not have a roof. Alright. Uh, what was I literally just- oh, right. Cheese apples. Like, I had a moment where I was like, I know I was about to set off definitively to do something and I couldn't for a moment remember what it was. Yep. Limes. Not lemons. Limes. I have a real life lime, lime tree, actually. It is sitting over there. Yeah, maybe you could use some water, honestly, but eh. Well, that's one nice thing, is that you don't really have to water plants in Minecraft. Do, do, do. Okay, okay, this is distracting me. I need to make... I could just... Maybe I should just fill this area in. It's fine. Let's just plump a tree. Uh, like here. And then another one maybe over here. I could like carefully count out how much space it takes to get to them, but eh, eh. I can sort of do a vague estimation and call it good enough. And that second one is really more where I'm leaning. Okay, we actually put that one down lower because down lower means it'll be easier. That looks like it's spaced out well enough, I think, maybe? Um, where's... Uh, it must be in my bag. Wait, do I not have an axe? Huh. Unless I put it in here. No, doesn't look like it. Yeah, I have a nice shovel. I have several picks. I have my... This thingy. But I don't seem to have a functioning axe. So let's go... Well, let's just make a copper one, I guess. Because I got copper on me. One, two, three. Do do do. Let's see. Do I not have sticks? Fascinating. Well, now I do. Oh wait, I did! Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, I just didn't see him. I want a copper axe. Yes, please. Because I want to cut down, I think, this tree. So as a, another uh, origins thing, so I have the mushroom origin. And then I also have a class, which in my case is Lumberjack. So when I cut down a tree, the whole thing go bye bye And then unrelatedly, I have a Leaf Decay mod that just makes leaves break down faster, so. I know like people who've watched my modded Minecraft streams before probably know a lot of this stuff, but I like to mention mods when I use them, just for anybody who's watching along that hasn't like art that isn't familiar since this isn't just a pack I can point to because I, I you know just put together the mods I liked do, do, do. Uh, that's probably good enough oh uh oh uh oh why didn't you break down when the other ones did huh weird uh, hey I'm impressed that worked Just uh, clearing out the area around my base a little. And we really don't want any normal trees terribly close to the fruit trees because they are easy to confuse. Do, 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 do. Mm, that one might be too. Well, no, because that one's like one, two, one, two. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, you know what? There is no use for me have all these nice birch logs and not strip their bark like so birch bark is used for one of my mods and wait where's my oh there it is silver knifey thing yeah. so I really should have done this before I cut anything down but you know boop boop eh, eh, eh. oh no I've made my tower too high Okay, now to find out, does this does this count as a tree for my- no, it doesn't, because 
Ah, it doesn't have any leaves attached. Probably is why. I'm really impressed that jumping at it to break it down actually does work. Okay. Uh, let's just put a bunch of... Well, did that get me? Yeah, it did. I probably have more than enough birch bark, and it's not like I'm ever going to lack for birch bark, given the biome I have set up in. So I'm not going to take the time to strip every single one of those logs. That would just be a nightmare. Uh, but it is something I'll try to remember more going forward. Let's grab these and refill my stock so I have a full stack. Oh, and that's another one I have is a uh, inventory starting mod. I use Mouse Wheelie, which uh, just auto sorts things when you hit the middle mouse button. And you can tell it how you want it sorted. I think I have it sorted by uh, auto sorting by item ID. Oh, let's find a place for the rubber tree. I haven't done anything with tech mods yet, but like, you know, nice to be able to. Just moved a tree that was like right here because I was worried it would be too close, but eh, it'll probably be fine. Okay, let's see if I can't get some wheat. One. Mm, doesn't look like I have a second one, but useful to get those carrots and potatoes anyway. Well, let's just. And I filled up the inventory again. Ah, there we go. Uh, okay, so now that I have the trees up, I can put these nuts away. Oh no! Oh no, I've run out of space! Oh gosh, well, okay, I guess that doesn't need to be in there. Go in there. Um, at some point, I'm gonna upgrade these chests, which is why I have them like this. Um, or rather, why I haven't made more. Actually, let's take some of that garlic out and put it in the visabob. Oh, well, we'll shove it up there. And I seem to have, let's see, do I have a bucket on me? Oh, there's probably a bucket in the, do, 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 in the chest below the furnace. Somewhat of an annoying place for me to put that marker, but <laughs> oh well. No? Huh. All right. Where is there a bucket? Bucket. Bucket. That's unusual. Usually that would have been well, maybe a miscellaneous. Huh. I guess I could just make a new one, but it does feel a little wasteful of the iron. When I know I had like, well, okay, I know I had the one that was in, in use for milk. But that's just the one, so let's try. Do, do, do. Oh, yep, okay. That was where I put it. Weird place, but. Oh, and I should shut that door. Because otherwise, I will forget. Alright. And. Lava! That's what we're here for. Lava, lava! Lava goes in the furnace. Okay, now I'm gonna need the knifey knife. That can go in magic. And we're seeing how much more of this can fit in here. Okay, that mushroom also goes in magic. Well, let's start pulling stuff from here. Okay interesting that it says new recipes unlocked now when I'm like, I definitely already had all of these items have been in my inventory before. It is exciting to have an ender pearl though. Because there is stuff on what that I can do with that. Alright. Um, that goes in here and that goes back in here as well when I'm thinking about it. So does that. Thief. 
fancy mushrooms go with the mushroom in the magic box. Eventually, I will figure out the other magic things. So I had already, oh, um, I had already known how to do bewitchment magic stuff. So I've got a little setup over here that is from the bewitchment mod. But I have two other magic mods installed. This is a very kitchen sink pack. Um, so I have. I have magic mods, I have tech mods, I have utility mods, I have just all the mods. All of the mods that did not change the- well, okay. Like, the one thing I try to avoid doing is, like, changing the fundamental basics of the game. So, like, I, I don't want to be- I don't have anything installed that makes it feel like I'm playing a totally different game. Uh, just a very different version of the original game, if that makes sense. Okay, oh, you know what? I don't even know why there are sticks in there at all. Um, so that can come out. And then, oh, and also my copper axe. That's why I didn't have an axe in my inventory, because it somehow ended up in the food box. No wonder. Let me actually skim through this and make sure that everything in here is food. <laughs> a lot of salt. Do, do. Well, actually, salt is like also a magic thing, so maybe I can put the overflow salt in the magic. Bin. Do, do, do. That's where I want the bowl to go. I have way too many sticks, so let's put. Uh... Nah, I'm gonna call sticks wooden things. They are essentially that is what they are. So there we go. I think that makes sense. And okay, I need these. I think the rainbow ones probably go in miscellaneous. Yeah, that's where I have the other ones, so. Do, do, do. Okay, uh, and also miscellaneous is where I put the spare tools, and I now have a spare copper axe, so. Oh, why is my flower pouch in here? That's that's not where that should go. My flower pouch is for flowers. Botania flowers. Of which I seem to have, I have quite a few, and I'm very pleased. Alright, I think this might be one that doesn't melt down, unless I have a fancy thing, but eh, I guess I could check it. Eh, let, yeah, let's... Nope. Oh, crap. I need to do that. Yep, okay. Eh, let's just put that back in there. System working as intended. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need a second box for, for the ores and minerals soon. Especially if I do go mining, which is still kinda on the agenda. But uh, first, I did. I think I ditched all of my. We, oh, no, I put it back in my inventory because I remembered I was going to do this other thing. So there shouldn't be any mobs that spawn at night on my island because I've got a uh, mod, um, the Kybe mod. Which has a lot of really handy, like, utility items. And one of those items is that thing I keep walking by that is, like, a little ring of fire. It is an anti-mob torch. So, like mobs cannot spawn within uh, I think maybe the rings represent it. So like one, two, three, four, five chunks of here. So without any torches I think it's one chunk and then like the more torches, stacks of torches you add, the more chunks it covers. So so my island should be pretty safe but like, you know. There's also no particular reason for- I don't have like an origin that does better at night or anything, so there's no real reason for me to let it be night. Yes, create more cows! Well, this- this will be a process. You know, it might not be the worst thing to have a couple of things of wheat in my backpack in case I ever find animals I want to bring back while I'm off adventuring. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move ahead with my mining plan. Let's put 
put that bow in here too. I want to enchant the copper pickaxe. I mean, it's just gonna die, but it could take make it take longer too. Uh, oh right, and I don't need the carrot in my inventory either. I will. I should fuss around with like food soon, but oh, and I need to finish unloading my other. Yeah, I want a totally empty secondary secondary backpack before I go adventuring. Alright, I got dark oak saplings, didn't I? I was gonna throw a dark oak. And maybe some spruce. Just cause I can, you know, beautify the island a little. Oh hey, my rubber tree has grown. None of the nut trees have though, although I'm realizing that that tree is really much closer than the other one. Well, I guess I have to inventory. Da -da -da. Oh. Okay, that worked the second time. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Well, if I clear these trees out, this seems like actually a nice area to put the other trees. And it uses the same amount of like axe power on the axe, I think, that it would have if I have chopped each log individually. It just, you know, does it a lot faster. There's also mods that- oh, hello Pukara! Thank you for lurking! There are also mods that can make it so that everyone cuts down trees this fast, but I, since I have Origins classes, I thought it'd be nice to like, you know, be so like, if you picked that class, it's a cool special thing you can do kind of thing, so I have not installed any of those mods. Alright. Oh right, I was also gonna like start stripping the bark before I cut down the trees. I did totally forget about that because I have short-term memory issues. <laughs> something something executive dysfunction something. Doop, 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 doop. And then we cut the tree down. And it only does it in two it does it in two sections, which is kind of interesting, but mm, it doesn't really do me no never mind to do it the slow way. Alright, now that I have made a whole bunch of space. Let us put in another like here. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. And then a little ways out, we're gonna put some this and some maybe also over here. Yeah, those look like they will probably grow. And then there should be that is kind of cutting into room I could use for more fruit trees later on, but eh, I can always chop it down. Oh no, I don't have any room in my inventory and I forgot! I like knew that, but oh gosh, I have so many birch saplings that I think I'm just gonna recycle these ones. Wow, that's not a very good rate of return. status on the cows. Nope. Probably too early to get more cows. You know, I have all these tech mods that would definitely make some of the things I'm doing manually very easy to do automatically, but like, on the other hand, part of the fun for me, like, you know, I don't know, I find it kind of fun to fuss with farming and such. I'm gonna hold on to that dirt. Don't put that grass block in. Oh yeah, I got pumpkins. I had totally forgotten about that. I should set up pumpkin farm farming. Put that there. Oh, uh, that goes in there. That goes in there, and I think. Oh, there's some stuff for the miscellaneous box. And then I want to drop off the seeds and the extra sticks, and that might be everything. Oh, nope. Got a couple other weird miscellany. Yeah, and I want to hold on to those arrows because I actually have a bow now. I wonder if I can make fancy dipped arrows or if I have to actually do the... Hmm. Well, let me 
check my book of shadows. I think I put that in the magic stuff bin. Yeah. Alright, so this is the uh, manual for bewitchment. Rituals, creatures, tools. Uh, I guess it would be under that's, No, that's all potions, I think. Oh, I have a couple locked potions. That's kind of interesting. Um, I'm gonna just click this and go like. Huh. I was wondering if I could just like. Nah, I have to click each one individually. Ugh, ugh. I'm not gonna actually do that. I'll look up things when I feel like I need to. Oh, right. That's one of the interesting things that Bewitchment has is polymorph. Um, it's not particularly useful in a solo world, but like it's very fascinating for a uh, server. Like, definitely leave a lot of room for crazy lore stuff when you can like transform into another player. Do, do, do. Okay, yep. The, the the little arrow, the little you haven't read this yet! Exclamation mark is annoying me. Um, purity is okay so purity just it removes negative effects so it's like a potion that replaces milk as a thing do, do, do. instantly places temporary cobwebs around the target fair enough okay um do, do, do. Ah, uh, makes normal attacks magic, letting them pass through armor. Fancy. Not that I really. Again, some of these are like clearly designed for a server, but. Uh, ethereal entities cannot receive any. Oh. Oh, I want that. to shift click but it just brought me to ghosts that was kind of weird uh so brewing we want ethereal okay so shift click yep it definitely brought me to the ghost page um i mean i guess it would just be ectoplasm is the thing right yeah that makes sense and i have a bit of ectoplasm as it turns out so I need magic, and I need ectoplasm, and I don't know if I need anything else. Uh, maybe a duration. Shoot, which one is duration? Is it redstone is... You know, there's redstone and glowstone, and one of them is intensity, and the other one is duration. Maybe the book says, because this is true in Bewitchment as well. Potion ingredients. Modifiers. Redstone dust increases the duration. Glowstone makes it more potent. Okay. I don't think there is a potency level to this, so we'll just do that. I'm sure the rain the, the rain should not actually affect the brew. Okay, so step one, toss in a mandrake root for potioning. I believe step two is... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Ah, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, No, I'm going to worry about it a little. I had my stream auto-recording, but it, like, it just gave me a notification that I've run out of space. Uh, well, I'll just download the recording later. And in the meantime, I'm going to delete it so that my disk is not literally full, because that actually kind of sounds like a bad thing. Uh, ta -da. So, whatever the today recording is, I'm gonna just delete that. And maybe move these other ones to the other disk that is not full. And that can just happen in the background while we do this. Alright, back to the game. Okay, so I threw in the mandrake root, and then we throw in the ecto. Nope, ectoplasm. Toss. There we go. And then the redstone. And that should make me a potion. And I need a bottle. 
or or three, I think, actually. But. And that is it. The reality. Oh man, that only does twenty seconds. Oh, I mean that's fair. It's a pretty powerful effect. I'd be interested to try that again with more redstone, but. In the meanwhile, I will just take these for if I'm going somewhere really dangerous and I just really want to get past something. And we're gonna take that bucket and draw from the infinite water source. Which I maybe should have made on the inside because it just would have been easier than opening the door every time. And we're gonna refill the cauldron. For later potioning shenanigans. And while I'm at it, maybe I'll get more lava if there is any more to be got. Why is that like that? Oh! Haha! <laughs> right! Uh, actually, no, yeah. But let's do that, and then maybe I will look at it less like an incorrect thing. Speaking of which, do -do -do. this is bothering me. I will make different walls at some point, but I don't like having big gaps in the walls in the meantime. This one's fine because that's for the lava. I wonder if I could make like a line of lava dripstone. Like, because I can actually fit down here because of my mushroominess, but I do actually have trouble. Oh, actually, no, I can't quite, but that's fine. I can do that and then I can fit down there and it won't be a problem. Dupe! Dupe! Okay. I went to check if there was lava, and there was not. Climb up the rope, which by the way, uh, rope is from additional additions. As you can see, it works basically like a ladder. Um, but the placement is a little different. Do -do -do. Um, let's just put the bucket back where it was before, because now that I have found it once, I should hopefully be able to remember to find it again throw some redstone in with the magic stuff just for future ease of access. And we're gonna make some pumpkins. Uh, probably just turning one of them into seeds is all I need. Alright. And then where is a place I can set up a little pumpkin? You know, honestly just like kind of over here is probably that's close enough to there. So let's get the Okay, so if we have water there, I can go out four blocks, right? So one. So that is room for three pumpkins. I think. Yeah, seems seems roughly correct. And then we put the seeds in here. And I am getting rained upon again, like you do. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I will actually, I will actually pause because uh, I want to refill my water bottle. And also I think it is in fact time to take off the hoodie that I am wearing that is very warm. So I'm gonna put up a be right back screen. Uh, and I'm also gonna, I think I have different music for the be right back screen. So I will pause the music I'm currently listening to. And All right, we're back at it, which is nice because as I was walking by, the TV in the living room is <laughs> was on a bad scene that I did not like. And so we're gonna put that out of our minds. And by that, I mean, I'm going to put that out of my mind and focus on my nice little game. How did I have delicious water? Okay. Um, I was like, gosh, why does it feel so quiet? And then I was like, right, because I had pleasant, calming background music, and then I paused it. Boop. Sometimes I just bounce on the bed because it's fun. I like that Minecraft lets you jump on the bed and have it be bouncy. All right. Um, is it perhaps finally time for that mining I implied I might do at the very very beginning of this stream? Maybe. Oh, these are 
blocks that I have from that other adventure where I was setting up a... Eh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, do I want maybe one more backpack? Oh, I don't have a lot of iron and then... Uh, do, I have... do I have any iron, actually? Because that's tin, that's lead, that's antimony. I might not have any iron! Well, all the more reason to go mine in. Alright, so I have efficiency, but not unbreaking, so I should remember that. I would rather not have this pick break if I can help it. So I believe I had a path for mining somewhere. Huh. I hope it wasn't that, but... Well, I thought I had, like, a... Usually I tend to just mine straight down, which is, you know, not the safe way to do it, but it's the fun way to do it, so... Let's see what happens if I just go down. I feel like there was a point where I was, like, eh, where I was mining and I just don't remember where it is, but, eh, you know, that's fine. I think there's also, like, a drop below here somewhere? Yeah, right there. And I was thinking I needed to eventually make a ladder or a rope. Uh, this, I have just been like, you know, it's not been a high priority to mine this out. So I've been, I put it off a couple of times that I've gone by here, but like, you know, the whole point right now is to go mining, so let's clear this out. Also, this time, I think I'm not gonna stop here. I think I'm gonna go back to where I was digging and dig down further. Ooh, bang. I don't think I had any of that. That's a mythic metal. Yeah! What's that achievement say? Find Banglam, the first stepping stone towards other metals. I'm pretty sure I have way fancier metals. <laughs> Jeez! Jeez! I didn't know it did that! <laughs> oh my goodness! I mean, I guess that's why it's called Banglam! Whew! What? Wait. Why did both of them do that? Well, I got some, some Banglam. I, I'm guessing it's just the first one didn't, so... Unless it did and I just didn't notice because of the achievement sound? Does all Banglam go bang? Well, I guess we'll find out. There's more right here. Oh, nope. Okay, so it seems like it's a random chance. Either you will get the raw Banglam or the Banglam will go bang. That's fair. Alright, so I think it was here. Oh man, getting up back up is gonna be such a pain. That's fine. We're gonna just dig all the way down. Oop. And maybe grab this copper along the way. Doo -doo -doo. And let's just put that back there because I'm gonna want a solid surface there eventually. Yeah, I see on my mini-map that I, I've already been down this way and I lit a whole bunch of space, which is vaguely familiar? Uh... <laughs> Let's just keep digging down until, like, bedrock. Oh, or until this cave. That also works. This is close enough to the bottom of the world that I'm happy to just say this is where we are. Okay, I guess the dirt column will have to be how I remember that. Yeah, this is even further down. Uh, let's just grab that since it's low hanging and easy to access. Ooh, and look at that. Gold. Gold is handy. Oh, 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 oh. Carmot. I don't even remember what that does, but it's cool. Or it sounds cool, at least. Yeah, so I have a lot of mods installed that have additional ores. Uh, the most notable ones being um, the three big tech mods. Uh, tech Reborn, Modern Industrialization, and... Wait, what's the third one? Tech Reborn, Modern Industrialization. Modern... Uh, Industrial Revolution. That's it. Um, 
And then I also have Mythic Metals, which has a whole bunch of ores. And I actually have prevented some of the ores from the, the three tech mods have a lot of overlap in the types of ores they have. And so I canceled out a few of the duplicates. And, but that's still a lot of additional ore, which kind of makes, I, I don't mind because I think it makes mining really fun. There's just ores galore. Thing I've been surprised about though is like I know I've reduced the frequency. Oh, gobber is another one. The gobber ore can be used to make like really cool weapons and tools and stuff, um, and armor. But I know I reduced the frequency because I felt like I was finding it too often in my previous world, but now I feel like I don't find it often enough. Like, yes, it's powerful, but it's also really useful and I want to like find it ever. All right, so I don't really need the torches, but they're nice for preventing mobs from spawning. And so I mentioned that mushrooms have like the night vision ability. And so that's just for an example, like what it looks like when I turn it off. And I really just only put torches around here because I didn't want to deal with mobs. <gasps> iron, iron, we need iron so bad. Yeah, that didn't quite work how I wanted it to. Uh, I guess I will climb up from here with blocks. And to say is the block I care the least about. Think of these blocks. I mean, actually, I have mods installed that mean that, like, any of the basic stone blocks can be used like stone. Oh, yeah! I forgot that I also have RPG stats installed, so, like, the more I do a thing, the more my, like, I get, like, stats for it. So I have done a lot of mining. Uh, I don't think I've raised any stat besides mining, but my mining stat is now at level six. Doo, doo, doo. Well, I like mining. I mean, that's, you know, a big part of, you know, mine craft. You mine, you craft. I mean, obviously anyone who has played Minecraft knows there's many other things to do in Minecraft, but you know, well, those are kind of the basics. sure if I had- I, I think I did have quadrillion actually. But now I have more! Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that iron. I have- that's another mod thing. It's a uh, universal ores. So ores can spawn in type- in any type of, of rock, not just stone. And deep sleep. Yeah! Oh my goodness, so many ores! So many ores! I will go get these ones first because there's an actual cutoff here. Do, 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 do. Uh, this one is tungsten. Fancy. I'm gonna need a new pick soon. Eh. Do, do, do. I believe I already have a whole bunch of tungsten. I'm, I'm sure it's just a tech mod thing. I don't really know what uses it has besides tech mod, if any. But it's still- I like Tungsten in real life. I think I've, I've talked about that on previous streams when I have run into Tungsten. But, ah, there it is. Alright. And then also, because my inventory is kind of getting full. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. But the types of rock that are not at full stacks, I will leave in my inventory for now. Those seem like the most likely that I will end up getting more of. And then make the copper pickaxe. And back in business! I could be using the diamond pickaxe, it would definitely go a lot faster. Maybe I will switch to it actually. I just, I don't want to use it to like. My enchant enchanting ability is pretty limited and I don't have like mending or unbreaking or any of that cool stuff on it. On the other hand, eventually I probably want to update to a gobber pick, so you know, it might be worth just the much faster mining speed. Even if I am using it up a bit faster. Dude, I know I just made the new copper pick also, but oh yeah, see the copper pick I should use for not ores when I just need to clear out a little space. And then the diamond for the actual ores, because that'll just make things go faster. 
Oh, I got excited for a second. I thought that was diamond. Although, actually, mithril is as at least as good as diamond, if not better. So, I ain't complaining. And then we get some more iron. That's always nice. Okay, I'm feeling better about the iron reserves than I was. Let's, uh, let's collect some of this gravel, too. I wanted to see if there was more mithril around anyway, but... Like, universal ores, they can spawn in any of the standard stone types, but sadly not in gravel. So if that really is just like, was like an isolated ore surrounded by gravel, then meh. Mithril's supposed to be pretty rare, so... It makes sense if that it was just the one. I don't remember where it was now. It was somewhere around here. I think I have a shovel, so I don't know why I'm, like, beating gravel with my fist. Silver's always nice. And it led me to more iron. Though that might have also, I might have all gotten there from the other bit of iron I was going to come back for. So many things! It's just, I really just enjoy having, like, you know, extremely productive mining adventures. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I'm already forgetting my rule about the diamond versus the copper pick, but that's because I'm forgetful. Alright. Okay, let's see. Oh, missed some iron. Oh, and some quartz. Maybe we put some... <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna make myself a little pathway here, just because that's gonna get annoying. Do -do. Uh, do I care about that one Sirtius Quartz? Nah, maybe not. I will care about that one Tin Quartz, though. Alright, uh, can I reach that one? Oh yeah, that's not too bad. But the one above it... Oh, hey, huh, there's like another opening up there. Can I reach that? No, but I can do my jumpy method. Yes, yes, there's big caves nearby. I'm already in one, so don't know what you want from me. Okay. Oh, I even have the shovel like in my inventory. We'll go get more of that gravel then. Get me some nice flint on the way. This is gonna be annoying to travel back past, but that's okay. Do -do -do. Ah. Mm -hmm. eh, nothing interesting. Oh boy, I might need to cut the stream be well. I mean, usually I do s try to do streams for two hours, but it's already a little late. And also, I'm getting kind of dizzy. Like, which is not super common for me with Minecraft, but can occasionally happen. Do, do, do. I mean, I might also be twisting in kind of weird directions to see things in this strange cavern. Okay. Let me take a second with my eyes closed, get some water. Alright, alright. Yeah, also my shoulders are like really stiff, which probably isn't helping prevent anything headache-like. Alright. I really don't need more Sirtius cores. It's it's taking up way too much room as is, but it's an ore. I mine the ores. That's that's how mining works. Maybe I should tunnel up to that other cave. Cause there might be like something cool in there. And I pretty much, I haven't totally mined this out, but I've mined about all of that I particularly care to at this time, so. 
Oh, oh, hey, look at that gold right there. Yeah, this is also like this perspective shifting is the dangers of being in the realm of one block high. Which is a feature of my origin. Technically I'm slightly taller than one block high, as I've mentioned. But... Oh, I see a whole bunch of entities over there. They all go over to whatever is that way. I probably don't actually want to fight that many mobs, but you know, cave exploration is fun. Uh oh. Oh, streaming water is really annoying. I don't know how to change the water physics so that I can actually swim into flowing water. There we go. I can always just... Oh wait, is this just like an isolated... Oh no, okay, there we go. Because that would have been kind of weird if it was... Ah! Ah, jeez! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. I have a sword. I should use the sword. Oh, that was alarming. I did not care for it. I did not care for it indeed. But yeah, I would have con been confused if there was just like an isolated pocket of water was what I was saying there. Oh, how do I get up there? Um, oh, this shape is very annoying. And I really would like to find some bamboo and get some like scaffolding, but since that's not a thing I have, first let's throw some stuff in the backpack because I just noticed that my inventory is full. And yeah. let's, I guess see. I can kind of maybe jump up a little bit with the andesite and then start uh, digging up, I guess. Ah, right, water. Water's gonna cause me problems when I do that. That's fine. Yeah. Maybe I can use the water to get- so I'm a mushroom, so I basically cannot drown, I think? Or at least it takes a really long time. No, 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 that's just giving me headaches. I ain't doing that no more. Alright, motion sickness is actually what I want to say. It's not actively giving me an immediate headache. It's giving me motion sickness vibes that could lead to a headache quite easily. All right, let's try here. There's already a bit of a step pattern here. Let's try digging up from here. Doop. Doop. Okay. I feel kind of bad for being like, uh, you know, I was gonna say I'm sorry for being complainy, but I don't think I've been I've been trying not to be complainy. I was just comment like i usually don't get motion sickness so it's actually a little annoying like it is a little like like why though but it's also later than i usually stream and i have this light and maybe i'll turn the light down a little maybe that's not helping but yeah that's still fine ish for my lighting and maybe a little less glaring uh, i actually think i have two other light modes too so what happens if i do this Oh no, that just makes me orange again. Yeah, this light is the least egregious, I think. In terms of being bright light in my eyes. <sighs> Someday I'll get to that goal. Someday. Just, just digging things until I see it. Is that it? I think I see it. Maybe... Yeah! Okay, maybe I can just... from here? Maybe I can, like, make a, myself a little path from here? Yes, there is a lot of water now. Okay, well I can get to the top of the set of blocks I already made. And then maybe make it taller? Oh goodness, oh goodness, I can't do this for very long, but let's see. Okay, okay. Back on solid ground. Much improved. Okay. That was a lot more effort than I really needed to go to for just gold, but it's mine now. Ha. And actually, I like the look of that mushroom in there, too. Let's see if we can get back up here. 
Oh no! Oh no! I have barred my own entry. Oh god. No. No. You know what, Mushroom? You are not that important. Maybe this way I can dig up. Ah. Okay, and then go up here. This way? This way? Ah, where is the opening? Oh, more water. Hello, water. I want that mushroom! A hole. This is interesting. Oh, I need to crouch to get through one block space, so. Whew. Okay, are we just... It feels like we're in an ocean, but... I know this is not an ocean, but I guess it's right under the river, so that kind of makes sense. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. I'm also getting a little sleepy, so. Alright. I'm basically immortal underwater. Well, I can be underwater as long as I- oh, I should eat some toast. Toast. Oh. Sorry, my eyes are watering. Alright. I kind of want a lot of this stuff, but mining under the water is annoying, so let's actually, like, kind of prioritize. Oh, there's so many things, though. Oh, that looks maybe unfamiliar. Adamantite? I don't know what that is. Oh, actually, sorry, I have to be right, 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 right back. Marb. I'm back, but probably not for terribly long. I think I'm gonna go to about 11.30, which for me is in about 10 minutes. So we're gonna do a little bit of mining of this area, and then I'm gonna try to find my way back to my base. Which, if necessary, I can always just climb up. And turn that down on another tick. Ooh, I need to figure out a better place for my lighting. Uh, right. Or a better way to set it up. Yeah, I don't- yeah, as I thought, I don't want to do too much mining down here because... Slow. But this is fancy stuff. And so I'll go around and see if there's any other fancy stuff. I actually did already get a bunch of the iron. Let's go down here. Yeah. Uh, kinda could always use more lapis, so let's try to grab some of that as well. It's a less common one. Hello. Uh, you know, maybe I'll collect some of this magma. Like, you know, why not? It's here. I guess I could have been doing that with the copper. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, um... Okay, I'm looking for particularly interesting... Yeah, I'll call platinum interesting. Okay, interesting and, like, by- and or rare generally specifically rare. <laughs> like this also seems like a great time to go looking for gobber or gleaming ore, which are both kind of absolutely required for their given mods, but I haven't found a, any hint of yet. It's almost possible that some of this area spawned without gobber. Cause it's like, I feel like I've gone an awfully long distance for- Oh, good night, Pukara! Thank you for sticking around! I'm gonna go to bed soon myself, honestly. Like, like, I've got it, like... I got another few minutes in me doing some, uh, mining, but... Then I'm gonna head out. So I'm hoping next week I'll be able to do my stream at my usual time, which is- Cause I, I normally do, like, 5pm to 7pm-ish, uh, East- ET- you know, Eastern time. Uh, but today I had other plans, which were very fun other plans, but it, it did uh, impact my ability to stream. 
at the normal time, so I decided to do a late horror stream because I like Minecraft and wanted to play it. Alright, if I keep going, will I find an all exit all the way out of the water, I wonder? Uh, yeah, because that would honestly be like by far the easiest way to get back to my base is if I could find my way to the top of the water. I was down pretty far. Oh my gosh, that was a little too fast. Okay, let's just here. I think I need to break a block to get through here. There we go. Oh, well, we're higher. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, we're back under. Oh, this isn't gonna bring me anywhere useful. Maybe through here? What's that one? Oh, that's just tin. I'll grab a little more lapis while we're at it. Am I going? Yes, if I go out this way, maybe I will find my way to the big river. Kinda looks like that in my mini map. Um, hmm, maybe. Well, there's a whole area here I can go. Though it is deeper, which, well, we'll find out. It'll be an adventure. Oh my goodness. A dizzying adventure. Yeah, for, if anyone's like tuning in and hasn't watched me play Minecraft before, it usually does not give me motion sickness. So like that is that is not a normal experience for me. And I have played in this world several times, so this is. I think it's just got a little. Let's see. What if I go? I wonder... Ah, that was not what I expected to have happen. Oh, I was thinking about digging up. Wait, what? Oh shoot, I can die from- oh, oh, this is bad. Uh, yeah. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I perhaps should have been, because I realized when I was rereading my origin stuff, at some point I thought that I just could be underwater and forever. But I was reading my stuff recently, uh, not my stuff, my uh, origin recently, and was noticing that it said can survive much longer underwater. So I was like, oh, I should keep an eye on it. I bet I do actually lose, start to like lose air bubbles just very slowly. And then I promptly forgot about that entirely. Uh, on the plus side, it should actually be a lot easier to get to where I died than to get back to my base from there. Oh. Oh, thank you, Sir Archibald! If, uh, if you're here, like, how did your, uh, blind run go from when I, uh, cut out? Hopefully it went well, and, well... And if you are, uh, you said it would probably take a very long time, so I imagine it's still ongoing. Oh, uh, let me do a, oh, not, not dead yet, that's nice. Let me do a shout out. Uh, just copy the name. So, yeah, there we go. Sir Ar the Sir Archibald plays Crystalis, and was I was watching him earlier do a blind run, which was very cool. Uh, which is all the caves it become uh, completely dark, except for like you can see the monsters and the um, the waterways and stuff, and that was very cool. All right, so I was. Trying, I kind of drowned, and I am trying to get back to my where I left, where uh, where theoretically my stuff would be. Oh, all right, let's try digging down from here. We, it's a lot easier to dig. D oh, I should have gotten a pick. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, hey, my nut trees also grew. So let's go get some nuts while we're at it. Pecans and the almonds and the cashews. And there's also like walnuts, but I didn't find any when I was in the. Oh, that's just my dark oak tree that I grew manually. 
Um, oh, the cashew sapling didn't grow. Uh, it must have been too close to the other one. Um, let's try moving it over a bit. Maybe like... Oh, that's my rubber tree, so I don't want to cut that down. Maybe like... Eh, I'll be cutting it close, but it might be able to fit there. Maybe even a little closer to the rubber tree, like here? Well, I'll leave it there and see how it goes. And uh, uh, I also, while I have this nice, totally empty inventory, I'm thinking it is a great time to harvest the farm because I'll have lots of inventory space to collect things. Doop, doop. And doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, I have a farming level! That's exciting. I think that's my first non-mining level from RPG stats. This is... Uh, da, da, da. Let's see... Alright, cows, I'm gonna make more of you. I just need one of you. Okay, there we go. Eventually I'll have enough cows that I can start collecting leather from them. Okay, so my stuff will last a lot longer than in the base game because of the Universal Graves mod, but it will not last forever, so once I have finished dropping off my inventory, I should go get- I should grab a pick and then go back at it. And those things are magic stuffs, and I missed the tea leaves, and my sugar cane, and then all the seeds go in here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I did the thing where blueberries and black beans look an awful lot like seeds, but are not. They are food. Oh, I think this one might be doesn't actually. Yeah. I think I gotta not put the runite in the furnace. And then we drop the thingy back off and grab I will grab like a chest plate and make myself a pick boop, boop, boop. Yeah. only need three and then I know I have tons of sticks because I put them there not long ago alright so we got a pick and we got like a chest plate and oops now, on back to the digging down. Um, I can see it. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, that's kind of a disorientating view. Doo, 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 doo. Maybe somewhere. Oh, that's 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 not helpful. Uh, I don't know where I was digging before, but this looks... Uh... Yeah, I guess let's just try from here. Looks like I'll get there. Wait, uh, yep, I still see it. I was around 40, so I think... I, my Y level is something around 40, so it shouldn't be too far. And right, there was this gravel that I was going to try to dig up from that it's like might have worked if I had, but um, let's maybe get more of the gravel out of the way. Uh, that's just going to be annoying. Um, I guess I'll dig down a little get some tin ore on my way I guess aha I have found it all right if I have I think I need an empty inventory slot to do this Boop. oh maybe there's just oh yep nope there it is uh, it was most of my stuff I guess just I couldn't quite get all of my stuff because I had stuff in my inventory and of course the things that it didn't grab included my backpacks which is 
inconvenient to say the least. Let's just dump some random things in the backpack so I can grab more things. Notably the other backpack. Also, whatever ore I just dropped has vanished. So that's... I'll have to go look for that. Do, do, do. And... Okay, so the only thing left is the... Looks like is the armor. And... And I got all my stuff back, and I'm getting my way to my, uh... Do, do, do. Okay, um, if I were an ore that had gone floating away, where would I be? Uh, you know, honestly, probably right there. Maybe I did find it. Oh, wait, wait, maybe that was it. Yeah! Okay. Where did I come from? bother. This seems incorrect. It was like I came in and there was like a little- oh gosh. Okay, sorry about the awkward angles. Ugh. Okay, I hear it. And the gravel was nearby, so let's just try digging out the gravel. Is that it? No, that's where the gravel fell from before, when I... <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone down this way. Alright. Well, I thought I had a way out! Whoops! Alright. I guess let's go back to the original plan. Um which was to manually find my way out. Mm, unfortunately, this is a really annoying way to go because of the one and a half block high thing. There we go. Okay, I know that it wasn't that much higher up to get to the ground level, so... Let's just go as high up as I can in the water and then just start digging up, maybe? Hmm. Okay, that's back to the big area. Maybe I can just get back to an area here, because I remember this was like very large and very wide, and maybe there's an area that's closer to the surface from here. Oh, here we go. I was like, couldn't find an opening that I could actually fit through for a moment there. Alright, so I don't want to necessarily have to dig up into the land, but that might just be how it is. Alright. Oh, digging up is so much... So much worse than digging down, though. Okay, let me try going back where I was one more time. Actually, 58 is where I'm at now. That's not too bad. If I can get to the sort of the edge. Um, wait, I have a thought. If I dig this way enough, I will end up in dry land because the water will only go so far. So I just dig out this way until there's not water in my way anymore. Yeah, there we go. And then dig up. Straight up. And then to freedom. Soon to freedom. Freedom! Alright, and then I'm gonna go collect, see if I can reach more of the... Ah, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I want that almond. If I jump enough, maybe I can get it. Eh? Yay! Oh, it was a pecan, whatever. Uh, the cashew tree still has not grown. Mm, let's bump that one more space over this way. Check on it again later. Hey cows! Do you want more wheat? Do do do. 
I'm not you, sheepies. There's enough sheepies. I only need more cows. Collect a little bit of lemons. And lime. Just fruit tree stuff in general. Oh, no, I don't have a lot of inventory space, so I should actually maybe not get too sidetracked doing that. Lest they just sit here like this lime. Eh, I don't need those grape seeds. And, um, okay. So I'm gonna offload some stuff and then. So I actually ran a little than I was gonna, so, you know, add a little bonus there. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, I have so many foods, eventually I'm going to sit down with a recipe book and make all sorts of food. And, oh, yep, I have a whole bunch of ore I can add to here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, Lapis definitely does not go in a furnace. Many blocks to drop off, I think. I'm gonna count magma as a basic. Plenty usually counts as more. Missed some pecans. Okay, let's put all of the tools, not in a particularly useful way in my inventory, but the goal currently is to just make space that is obviously the stuff I just collected. Okay, iron goes there, yeah. I don't think mithril would go through the furnace. I know bauxite does not, nor does Sirtius. Manganese probably does. Lead does. I don't think platinum and I bet Animantite is also one of the fancy ones that needs the alloy forgery, which I gotta get around to making, but not today, I think. Put that, oh, I should turn this redstone into redstone blocks. Ooh. Much more space efficient. So I think I had previously discovered that platinum doesn't. Oh, no, platinum does, okay. Manganese does, so I was right about that. Uh, uranium doesn't. Um, and obviously some of the other ones I just didn't have, so... But I was wrong about platinum, so... And then the flint goes there, and okay, I'd be real surprised if the bucket was not... Or rather, the lava was not ready to be bucketed. So let's... Hmm. Oh, right, I was like... Where did my sword go? Oh right, I dumped a bunch of stuff in my backpack when I was trying to make some extra space. Some things that should have been in my backpack were not also, so... Um, I also think I don't need the extra dirt or cobble. Alright. This is just... Since I just reorganized all my other stuff, I might as well reorganize my inventory. And then we put the pick in miscellaneous, so next time this comes up, I will have one ready to go. Alright, um... That con should not be there, it should be there. Bucket! Bucket! That's what I was doing. Sorry, that, that, that moment of like staring at that in silence is because I was like, I knew there was a- I know there's a thing here that I want. What was it? And the answer was bucket. Bucket for lava. And then lava goes in furnace. Like so. And then many things turn into or ingots. Rather, yes, food. And there's also a whole bunch more grilled garlic, which I can combine with bread. Which, yeah, I can probably afford to use this wheat to make more bread. I don't know why I'm doing it that way when I can just go boop. Wait, did that not work? Uh, well, whatever, maybe it's messed up because I had already done so much of that. And then, 
Oh, sure, let's turn the rest of it into flour. And then... Garlic bread! Ooh. Delicious, delicious garlic bread. At that point, I'm going to put the pie in my backpack. And the flour should also go in the food box. And now, toast with jam and garlic bread. Very bready. I guess I could put the garlic bread in my bag until I actually finish the toast with jam as well. I don't, I don't really need more than one food item in my inventory. And I feel like that was a really successful day of, of crafting in mines. Uh, let's get some more wheat and see if I can't increase my... Oh, there was more ore. There was more ore. I forgot. We'll do that. So I was also gonna try to increase my cow population one last time once I'm done there. I think all of these things... Well, let's go check on the tungsten because I definitely collected it before. And it'll either be in raw form or... Wait, have I... haven't I? Huh. Tin... Uh, those things... Manganese I turned into a block because I had a lot, I guess. Oh wait, maybe I was trying to make a anvil. Oh man. I would have sworn I had previously collected tungsten. But maybe maybe that was in another run? Eh, well, I'll put that there for when the thing other thing runs out. Okay, and then we harvest the wheat. You. And you. And some bonus strawberry there, it looks like. Hey, cows. Can I get a second cow? Yay, more cows! This is all part of a grand, glorious plan that will involve much leather. That because it was in the corner of my eye and distracting me. And, yeah. Hey! Right. And then seeds go in the box. And yes, all right. So back to my previous. Oh wow, there's so many types of mushrooms. There's there's. There's multiple mushroom type colors? I forgot about that. That's a thing So I'm from Promenade. So I could have a mushroom root, but I could also have a purple mushroom root. And I like purple, and I mean my mushroom skin is red, but... That's so why I was gonna go for the classic red mushroom block, but... Can I get purple mushrooms? Where do I find those? Uh, looks like they don't really... Wait, uh, maybe it's just on the wrong thing. Yeah, no, okay, I guess they don't do the same thing as standard mushrooms where they can turn into the other version of it. So I would need silk touch on something and I don't have anything to silk touch, so I guess it's normal mushroom roof for me after all because it would be way too long. I mean, it is funny to just go on with without a roof, but I do want one someday. <laughs> it feels like I'm so close to the two hours but like honestly I should probably this feels like a very very good stopping point let's do a little see me from this angle with my little toast and jam and my bewitchment altar in the background you know like you do my little mushroom all right, I will. I might be Minecrafting again on Friday on my uh, private SMP uh, with uh, my normal Friday crew, uh, Sans Tapawa Vulcan. Um, so, I mean, if we had Tapawa Vulcan, we would just be doing Don't Start, but I'm gonna drag. Pukura has already joined Pingu SMP, and I'm gonna drag Johnny One Take into it as well, and then maybe that could be a thing we switch up sometimes and do on Fridays instead of Don't Starve. So we'll see. Um, but in the meanwhile, uh, I should, like I was saying earlier, I will hopefully be back at my normal Minecraft time next week at uh, 
do at 5 p.m. Eastern time if you are here for the Minecraft. And if you're here for my streams more generally, I will next be streaming on Friday at so 12 p.m. at Eastern time, which is I feel bad because I think that cuts into six cards usual streaming time a bit. But like that is going to be when I finish my run of Crystallis. Um, I, I, w I normally do stream two to four, but I don't, I, I have an appointment that day, so I can't quite make that time frame work, so I'm pushing it a little earlier. So, 12 p.m. East Eastern, I will be doing what is almost certainly going to be the last, uh, installment of my Vanilla Crystalis run. So, look forward to that on friday and then friday night like i said i might be doing minecraft uh we'll see that's still kind of pending but probably we're going to be on pingu SP. so yeah and then saturday will be don't starve and i might do something on sunday and i have lots of streams to look forward to and i'll also update my schedule as 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 things develop so thank you so much for everyone who came out and watched and everyone who came out and lurked and i appreciate you all so very very much and I hope you all have a lovely night or whatever time of day it happens to be for you. Do I'm gonna just check one thing real quick because this time I remembered to. Um, it's pretty late, so I think if I don't see anyone that I actually know streaming, I will. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there is anyone that I would yeah I want to get kind of in the habit of like remembering to at least check if there's anyone I want to raid but um yeah so I think there's no one I would normally raid online and I'm not quite advanced at, at to the point where I am gonna go look through for other people playing the same game because Minecraft is a little <laughs> overwhelming to do that with so maybe with some of the more obscure games but Anyway, so again, thank you all for coming out, and I appreciate it a lot, and hope to see folks again soon. Bye! Oh, and thank you again, Sarah Alterball, for the raid. Okay, bye for real now, bye!